Hello. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Today we are doing something new, which is kind of scary and wild because how many times do we do new things on this channel? Answer to that question is never. So today we are doing a talk through get ready with me versus a voiceover, which is what I do every time I film. So I posted a look that I did for a show the other day and I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a video on it and then I was like, do you want me to spill the tea on the show? Or do you just want me to do the tutorial? And y'all said you wanted me to spill the tea. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to, I don't know what that was. We're gonna spill the tea on the show. What show might you ask? Well, I spit. I saw Jesse McCartney the other day, like Jesse McCartney, heartthrob in 2002. Have you heard from him since? No, I haven't, so. <laughs> but yeah, I went to go see him on Thursday, today's Sunday, and it was kind of an interesting experience. So I'm gonna tell you guys all about that today. We are using the Gilded palette from BH Cosmetics. We're only doing eyes just because the face really isn't that important. So I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get into it. So if you wanna hear some tea on Jesse McCartney, then just keep watching. So little background really quick. I'm just gonna do my moisturizer because my skin is dry AF. Um, I should probably pluck my eyebrows too, but do we really care about that? No. So, Jessie McCartney was the love of my life when I was six years old. I remember seeing Beautiful Soul on Disney Channel. They, like, played the video or whatever, and I went up to the TV and I was like, that's my husband. That's that's my man. That's my man for life. I've been on his dick for 13 years. I've been trying to get him to marry me for 13 years. We have had zero luck with that, but that's fine. And I had a lot of expectations for this show. And none of them were met, so we're gonna get to that in a minute. My fingers are all greasy. I hate moisturizer. <sighs> now I'm gonna do my brows. Let me just give you real quick. I am so broken out. Jesus Christ. <gasps> So usually for concerts, I'm like a huge concert junkie. I'm a music junkie. I'm a live music junkie. Like I just, I love that shit so much. I go to local shows all the time. Jesse McCartney really reminded me of why I do those things. I saw he was touring and I was like, okay, this is funny. Like wanted to see him since I was six, now or never. It's 2019, no fucks even. Like I'm gonna do it. So I texted my friend and she was like, yeah, I'll go. So usually I buy tickets like a month in advance and I plan out my outfit, my hair, my makeup so that the day of the show comes, I'm all ready to go. There's no questions as to like what's happening or what I'm doing and stuff. Not this time. So I bought the tickets two days before the show. Didn't know what I was doing with my makeup till the day of the show. Didn't know what I was wearing till the day before. It was honestly like the messiest planning I've ever, ever done. The day of the show comes around and it was on a Thursday and my school schedule is like really weird on Thursdays. I get home really late. My friend was like, I'm gonna come get you at five because it's in Baltimore and the show was at eight and I was scared about traffic. So I was like, okay, six. So I got home at like 4.30 and I was like, well shit, like I'm not gonna have time to do anything. I'm not even gonna have time to like take a shit. So I figured I was like, okay, I need to, I need to get ready before I get home. So I did something that I literally hate doing. I did car makeup, which is just doing your makeup in the car. <laughs> so after English, I got in my car and I fucking did my makeup and I didn't have any makeup wipes and I was using yellow eyeshadow. <laughs> So I had like yellow fallout smeared all under my eye. I literally looked like a sick zombie. Like it was disgusting, but whatever. Another thing to note, when I bought the tickets, they had VIP options. So I was like, okay, like the, the tickets were not cheap. Like they were, they weren't like disturbingly expensive, but they were enough to make me be like, is this even worth it? Cause I'm a cheap ass bitch. I was like, okay, you know what? It's 2019, like we're already going to the show. So we might as well like splurge and fucking meet him. Cause if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna fucking do it. I went and looked at the fucking VIP packages and I went and they were $120. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? For Jesse McCartney, $120. He literally has not been relevant since fucking 2004. And he's out here trying to fucking rob me. I think the fuck not. But I still got my, my money ready. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it. And then it said that it was sold out. So the universe was like, no, 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 no. You need to be smart about your money. Don't spend that. Do not do that. Is meeting him even worth it? Probably not, right? So I was like, not really that mad about it. But at the same time, like, that's my husband. Like, I want to meet him, you know? Um, going into the palette now. We're going to go in with this yellow. When we got there, there were a shit ton of people there and the venue is really fucking small. I was like, bitch, it's Jesse McCartney. And everyone was like older and drunk. So I was like, okay, I get it. Um, 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 the opener was Whitney Wurz. And if you're a broke Spotify user like myself, you've 
definitely heard her fucking Spotify commercial. Hey guys, it's Whitney Wears, and this is my song, whatever it is. She played it, it was good. She's cute. 10 out of 10, she's 18. How the fuck are you 18 and you fucking torch us? I wanna do that, what? And then he gets on stage, right? What am I, oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, so we get there and I see merch. The merch guy was gorgeous. I was like, good fuck. And I saw this thing and it said, do you wanna meet Jesse McCartney? And I was like, yes. So we get into the merch line and I get up there and I'm like, can I buy a meet and greet? And he was like, hell yeah, you can. A hundred dollars, please. And I was like, okay. So I went through with it and I bought the meet and greet and we got our laminates and everything and I was really actually super fucking excited because like it's one of those things where it's like cross it off the bucket list you never do it again you know it's fine. So we go through the show Whitney wears open for him and then he gets on stage and he's wearing this fucking outfit. I don't understand what the hell he was wearing, but I was like, okay. He opened with How Do You Sleep. It's actually pretty good. He, that was when I realized though, as he was playing that like, he's one of those guys who knows he's really hot and he knows every girl in the room thinks he's really hot. He's like a cocky little bitch. Like I was, I was kind of, I was like, okay. But then I, I realized like he's been in the game for 15 years and like Hollywood and whatever. So like it makes sense, but like also bitch chill. He was so good live though. Like motherfucker hit all those notes. Like the, the fucking like beautiful soul note. I was like, whew. It was, it was beautiful. The girl behind us got broken up with during the show. And Jesse stops and he goes, raise your hand if you've ever been heartbroken. <laughs> and the timing was just ironic. Like I, I felt so bad, but it was really funny. He was talking about how he's been dumped and then the person wants to come crawling back. And I don't know, it was weird. So he pulled a girl on stage to like sing the song. I forgot what song it was. I didn't even know the song. I'm a big fan. The girl that he pulled on stage looked exactly like his girlfriend. Like dead fucking ass exactly like his girlfriend. I ruined everything for myself that night. Like most girls, I think, that, you know, grew up listening to him, I wanted to marry him. Like I literally wanted him. I've, I've wanted him forever. Like that was like my ideal man. Like my standards were Jesse McCartney. If only I knew then what I know now, you know? But I realized <laughs> that he'd never go for me because I'm a stick and every song he fucking sings is about girls with big booties and like he'd never ever go for me because I'm a fucking stick and I look like I'm 12 and he's into older women and his girlfriend is gorgeous. It's fine, Jesse, really, it's okay. I'm over it. Everything's okay. And then he sang, I forget what song, I think it was Body Language? One of them, he did like a pelvic thrust, but it was like so clean and so like, mm. I, I can't even recreate. I was sitting there and I was like, did that just happen? His bitch gets it good at home. Let me just tell you right now, I'm jealous. <laughs> Yikes. He played the Hannah Montana song too. The one that's on the Hannah Montana album. She's no you. I was like, he did a lot of acoustic stuff too. I was like, did you know he wrote Bleed in Love by Leona Lewis? Cause I didn't fucking know that. He played the song and he was like, a lot of people don't know that I actually wrote this song. And then he starts singing it. And I was like, damn, I haven't used this palette in forever. I'm just blending these browns together. And then I'm just going back in with that yellow to kind of soften it a little bit. His merch was so fucking weird. Oh my God. So I found out when I was in middle school, I would call him J-Mac and I got ridiculed for it. They were like, nobody fucking calls him J-Mac. What the fuck's wrong with you? Motherfucker had a tank top that said J-Mac on it. I was like, bitch, are you fucking with me right now? Like, I've been right for 10 years and you can suck my dick. I was so weirded out. He had like pins that said J-Mac on him. Motherfucker was selling rings in a bag, like two silver rings for 30 bucks. Like dead ass, just two silver rings because he wears two, I guess he wears rings. like. It was the weirdest shit. Now I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown before I go in with my cut crease. He had a really hot sound guy though. And this is a funny story. So his sound guy was really, really hot, right? Like, wow. I was staring at him all night. Like I literally had a video. And I was like, Jesse who? Cause he was gorgeous. I was like, damn. He was doing like, he was like helping put the stage away, like cables and whatever. I literally took like 700 videos of him. I was like, 
obs I was like obsessed with this kid. Like he's gorgeous. Apparently that was Ross Lynch's brother, Ryland. I had no idea, but I was like, damn, he's gorgeous. I didn't know who that was. Like I was like, bitch, I don't know him. My friend was like, yeah, that's him. Oh my God, I can't believe you saw him. And I was like, what the fuck is he doing with Jesse McCartney? But apparently someone who worked for R5 now works for Jesse. So they pulled Ryland to help with Jesse's stuff. I don't know. But yeah, just like all throughout the show, I kind of realized like what kind of person he was. After the pelvic thrust, I was like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. But he ended all of his songs. He'd be like, stop, for the love of God. So now we're going to cut the crease. And my favorite brush to do this with is the Morphe M170. It's just like a little, little, little concealer brush. I fucking love it because it gets like right up in there. But anyway, he knows that he's hot. And guys like that piss me the fuck off because honestly, like you're not that hot and your dick's probably not that big. So sit the fuck down. After the show, we were waiting in line to meet him. Nobody knew where they were going. And then we all just kind of formed a line at the barricade. And that's when I saw pretty boy sound guy doing the cleanup for the cables and whatever. And I was like, good Lord, I love him. He is beautiful. I want to marry him. Jesse McCartney, who can't relate, love me this strange boy who I didn't know was like a Ross brother, but whatever. You know, when you're talking about meeting someone that you, you know, I'm not gonna say I idolized him because honestly, I never did. I just thought he was really hot. But like when you go and to like meet someone that you've loved for a really long time like you have expectations that you kind of set because of you know the way that you think they are and all throughout the show my expectations could you shut the hell up please my expectations for him were like lower and lower and lower and lower and lower because I thought that he was gonna be this like really cool really chill really sweet like I don't know I just thought that he was going to be like Jesse McCartney. Like, I didn't know what I thought he was going to be, but I sure shit didn't think that he was going to be the way he was. Also, his meet and greet was after the show. If it's after the show, it's going to be shit. That's just a fact. Like, I've gone to many a meet and greet, and if they're after the show, they fucking suck. But you know what? T. So we're waiting, and the line's going really slow, and the entire time we're in line, I'm trying to get the attention of this fucking guy because he's gorgeous, and I never did, but whatever. And so I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm about to meet Jesse McCartney. It's been 13 years. Like, I love him to death. Like, this is the most exciting moment of my life. Like, wow, this is so cool. And then we got up there, and it was our turn, and I was so excited. So all factors considered, okay? after the show he just wants to get out go home get on his bus or whatever and like go to the next city which is why you do the meet and greet before the show so that when the show's over you can just go if you have a groupie you can go fucking deal with her and then you can just kind of get on your bus and go but no the idea though was sweet like he was thanking everyone for coming to the show so i was like okay so i get up there to meet him and he's shaking everyone's hand and some people went in for hugs but he wouldn't hug me he wouldn't do it he had his hand out and then I had my hand out and then he put his arms out to hug me and then put his hand back out and then I just kind of went in for the hug. And he kind of taps my shoulder, like side hugged it and was like, oh, you're going in for a hug. Like, yes, bitch, I've waited 13 years to meet you. Of course I'm gonna fucking go in for a hug. Are you stupid? So I don't, I was not too pleased with that. I get there are people who don't like hugs, but like I had seen people go up and hug him. So I was like, Okay, and then I even asked, I was like, yo, can I hug you? And he was like, oh, you're going in for a hug. I was like, I just fucking said it was, like, shut up. Motherfucker was not about the hug life, which I thought was weird because the girl after me got a bear hug, like one of those, like, rocking from side to side. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting you bear hugs. And he just wasn't about that with me. And I was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. I was really upset because I was like, I've waited 13 years and he, like, didn't want to hug me. Did I do something wrong? Blah, 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 blah. No factors considered, like, I guess it's okay, but also, like, bitch, are you fucking serious? But so I was standing there, and we were taking the picture, and my picture was so fucking terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it was so bad. But I didn't have flashback, which is something I was terrified about, because they were using professional cameras with flash, and I was like, we were okay. He was thanking everyone, and he was like, I'm so grateful for you guys. Like, at the end of the show, he's like, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for giving me your money. It was just kind of strange. Like, he just wasn't about- like, I guess he was tired or whatever, but I was standing there, and I was like, oh my god, like, I've wanted to meet you for so long. I've never seen you live before. This was so cool. You were so good, blah, 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 blah. And he kind of just shook it off, like, I know, I'm amazing. Like, thank you. He's really fucking cocky. His teeth and his personality 
match fake. He just was not what I thought he was gonna be. It was $100 just for you to kind of like pat me on the back and push me out the door, which I get, you know, you have a lot of people that are there. You have a lot of people to get in and out. You have a lot of stuff to do and there's like a time limit in the venue and blah, 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 blah. So there are a lot of things considered, so I get it. But at the same time, like I've been to so many meet and greets where like it's the same deal. It's before the show, but like it's the same deal. Like you want to get people in and out as fast as you can because you are on a timed schedule and excuse me, whatever else. But like, are you kidding? <laughs> I've waited 13 fucking years for a fucking pat on the back and a thanks for coming in the show. I'm fucking great. Like, I don't know. I'm being sensitive. I know. But then I was talking to my friend about it, and she said that she knows some bands that have toured with him, or that have, like, worked alongside him, played shows with him, etc, cetera, etc, cetera. and he was, like, the biggest fucking douchebag they'd ever met. So, and also, like, it makes sense because he's, like, been around for forever, and... I don't know, it just kind of got into his head maybe? I don't know, but it was just kind of like a letdown because six-year-old me is like, I'm about to meet my husband, you know? And it's like, he wasn't as friendly as I thought he was gonna be. And then I told him I liked his eyebrows and he looked at me like I had nine heads. I was like, that's a compliment, just say thank you. You have nice eyebrows. I love it when people smell good because that's like my compliment. Like I'm never like, hey, how are you? I'm like, you smell really good. He didn't smell like anything though. Like he didn't smell like anything. He smelled like nothing. I was hoping he'd smell like aftershave or fucking cologne or something. Like it's Jesse McCartney, man. And I got nothing. I really wanted to tell him he smelled good. Just so I could have been like, I told Jesse McCartney he smelled good. <laughs> and could I? No, cause he didn't fucking smell like anything. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this a joke? Am I being pranked? Like, are you fucking with me? What a bitch. So I'm just putting this gold shade on my lid right now. That was the meet and greet. Oh, but they gave us really cool merch. I got these like socks. They have butterflies on them and they have his signature on the bottom. Everyone's like, oh my god, how was he? Like, was he nice? I'm like, not really. Like, he was nice enough, but honestly, he could have been a little bit more like, you know what I mean? Like, he just, he didn't seem grateful for it. Like, he just was kind of like, I know you're here for me because you fucking love me. I'm gorgeous. Like, look at me. I have a big dick. And I don't know, it was kind of a letdown. I was really upset. <laughs> he didn't make eye contact with anyone either. Like, I looked up at him and he was talking to the wall that was next to us. Like, he was not looking at me. He wouldn't look in my direction. I want to love you and you're not even looking at me. Like, I want to look into those beautiful blue eyes, stare into your beautiful soul, and tell you I love you and you weren't having any of it. Like, okay. So now I'm just kind of blending out the edges of the glitter or shimmer, whatever the fuck this is. I'm just going to tap my finger into the glitter and then I'm just going to tap it on the outsides of where I put it to kind of like taper it out a little bit so it's not so like brown gold you know so meeting him was a little bit of a letdown I'm not even gonna fucking lie with all things considered I understand you know you are tired you want to go home you know you just played a show you have all these people these sweaty ass people that want to fucking hug you and all these people that like want to suck your dick and like it's like tiring I understand Jesse like I, I don't go through that in my life but like I get you like I understand you know you're tired you want to just get on your bus and leave so why don't you just do your fucking main grade at the beginning just a little thought, I don't know. But I don't know, the whole night was weird. But like, I forgive him. I'm not really mad because like, that's just, that's just how he, that's how he works. Like, it's fine, that's how the show went. Lower lash line, we're doing a lower lash line. I don't know, it was kind of just like disappointing. And I guess, I feel like I don't really have a right to say that it was disappointing because like, shit happens. But I mean, I've met so many people. People say that they're assholes and that they're like entitled and that, you know, they're just like horrible people. But then I meet him and it's like, that's not true at all. Like they are truly some of the nicest human beings I've ever met. And like, I've heard nothing about meeting Jesse McCartney, you know? And everyone was like, oh, you know, you'd think he'd be really nice. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you, you would because I don't know, it's Jesse McCartney. Like I didn't really know what I was expecting, you know? But like it sure as shit was not that. I don't know, he kind of acted like he was God's gift to humanity. And people like that piss me the fuck off because honestly, like, you have not been relevant since 2004. Like, yes, you've put out music and yes, you've done things, but that doesn't mean that you're relevant. Like, honest to God, nobody even remembers him. Beautiful Soul was like 13 years ago. I don't know. He was just not who I thought he was going to be, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, when you're six years old, you have all these, like, thoughts about marrying him and, or I mean, I did. And... <laughs> 
you know, you think he's going to be a certain way, and he just, like, was not that way at all. Oh, a funny part about the show. So the show was called, the, or the tour was called the Resolution Tour, right? He was like, I want to hear some resolutions right now. Like, what's up? And everyone's shouting out, like, I'm going to be a doctor, and I'm going to be a lawyer, and I'm going back for my PhD, and I'm doing all this stuff. And it goes really quiet. I go, I'm going to get my shit together. And the whole room laughed. So now I get to say that I told Jesse McCartney that I'm going to get my shit together, which means I actually do have to get my shit together, which was that, you know, kick in the ass that I needed. Because I do actually have to get my life together. Maybe I'm just being a sensitive little bitch and he's like the nicest guy in the world, but I really don't think so because I had a gut feeling that he was like a little coffee bastard. And that's, that's what he is. I don't know. I hate to break it to you, but like that's just how he came off. So it's fine. Whatever. No sweat. And this is the finished look, ladies and gentlemen. That was all of the tea on Jesse McCartney. He was weird. He was weird, and the fact that he didn't smell like anything really just kind of raises some flags. Oh, I'm gonna show you what I wore. Hold on. I love Dolls Kill with my whole soul, right? And I sometimes buy things I don't need. I got this skirt. It's just like a pleated. It has a big hole on the side, but it's just like a yellow pleated. It's got like thingies at the bottom. It's really, really cute. I love the like belt. Thing. I matched my eyes off the skirt. I looked like I just shot porn. Like it was really rough, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is the final look. Let me know if you want me to keep doing this because this is my first one. So everything was kind of like spaced, spacey and like, I didn't know where to start. But like, if you want me to keep doing these, I have a ton of shows that I could talk about. So yeah, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.